I don't, I don't think I'm the only person that's felt that way. But, but tonight I felt it again. And I felt that something happened and, um, a new thing start. I, I don't even know all the way what it was, but really, really good. <music> Diego, how'd you like the tournament? It was just okay. Did you have fun yeah. with your friends? Yeah. Fun on the ocean? Yeah. Any flips? Yeah. Are you tired? Yeah. Did you like your mod pizza? Yeah. What else do you want to say? Yeah. You're, you're a man of many words. Yeah, I know. Just like your father. Yeah. You're cute. No, I didn't know. Play the game again. No. Oh, I'm gonna come on. Oh, I'm not playing it. Well, you can't do it to me and not I'm sick. It to you. I'm sick. What does that matter? You can't laugh anymore? <laughs> Nothing You're tickles? You're laughing a bunch. <laughs> I will sell you. Hey! Hey! Get the icy hot stuff that I can put in Koo's mouth. You put it in my mouth. Oh! oh. That was in my shoe. So back to driving the van. I really liked driving Gabe's truck. I was, I drove it because it was actually supposed to snow over the passes this weekend, but it ended up not snowing, so I didn't have to take it. But I'm kind of glad I did because it was so much nicer than. Mine. Okay, so what I'm thinking tonight is. I just needed to document this, but if you hear dogs wrestling and fighting, I'm very sorry. But worship tonight was incredible. The last couple times that I have sang have been really hard for me. For some reason, my brain's just been somewhere else and it just was really rough. I don't know all of why. Sometimes it's just like that. But tonight, what's funny is that practice was actually really rough. But tonight during worship, went places I haven't felt that in so, so long. Like, I honestly, I don't remember the last time I felt that way. I felt so much freedom, so much weight lifted off, so much joy, so much peace, so much fulfillment, so much contentment, no fear. It was just, I mean, it was just the Holy Spirit was just so thick. I just wanted to lay on the ground and not move and not leave. And honestly, if I'm being super real, like I love worship, but I'm usually like, okay, I'm done. Let's go home now. And it was not like that at all. I was like, it went over time and it felt like a blip. So I just have to say how refreshing that felt. So what's happened in the past before is like Holy Spirit will fall. It feels super thick, amazing, wonderful. And then as the night goes on, like not that it even goes away, that it's like I question myself. I question what I did, how I sang, how I would, if I sang too much or if I did something wrong or I don't, I don't even know. It's almost like I would have a really, really good night. And then my thoughts would just be attacked. And I hate the word attacked, but that's the only way I can think of it. it used to happen all the time. But um, so tonight I was like, I don't want it to go away. I don't want this feeling of peace and fulfillment and contentment to leave. I want it to stay. And, and another, okay, super real moment for you here. Like I don't soak very much. I don't spend enough time with God at all. Um, like on my own, like a regular basis, as you know, busy mom, that whole thing. But I don't like to use that as an excuse. I even would even just define five minutes, 
but I forgot what it felt like to be in his presence. And tonight I felt that for the first time in a really long time. And I'm like, oh, this is why people want to spend time with the Lord. And this is why people want to soak. It's because it feels this way and it feels so good. And, and yeah, like I'm just going to be super real. I haven't felt that in a long time. So I've had zero desire. Except, you know, like in worship or just on my own. I haven't really wanted to just sit there and soak in the Lord. I would rather do other things. And um, I don't I don't think I'm the only person that's felt that way. But but tonight I felt it again. And I felt that something happened and um a new thing start. I I don't even know all the way what it was, but really really good. And um I'm really, I'm excited for what's coming and I'm a little bit nervous because I don't want the feeling to go away. And I mean, I know hard moments come and all of that, but I just, I want, I'm so hungry for this peace to stay and this, just this peace and this wonderful feeling that, that came from tonight. Um, it, it, there was part of it that felt a lot like what, I know it's a new thing, but it felt a lot of the old days for me. Um, and it just felt really, really good. So anyways, I just wanted to share on here, um, and just be really raw and really honest with you guys. And yeah, to say how how excited I am for this and I and for people of you that feel that way and have lost that that feeling and the longing f- to rest in the Lord and feel that. Anyways, I'm just rambling on, but I just wanted to get on and share that. And I'm hoping that if you've lost that, like, that newness and that love and that excitement for the Lord, that you'll feel it again. And that something new will spark in your heart. A new hunger and a new longing and a new, just, yeah, just a new hunger for the Lord. And a, a hunger for His secret place and a hunger for His presence that it will just be new on you and all of you mamas who don't have a lot of time even if it's literally just five minutes in your car um and any time that the lord will just meet you in those little tiny moments that you have i don't have little babies anymore so even though i am busy i do have time um i have just chosen to use it differently and I really need to work on that and I'm really going to try working on that and now I'm I it's like this little thing in my heart is there and I really don't want it to go away so I mean I guess in order for it to not go away I need to feed it you know I mean that's just keep that hunger stirred so anyways all that to say um yes be blessed Feel the Holy Spirit and have a wonderful day. Love you guys. Cruz, are you happy to have mommy home? Mm-hmm. Yeah? And I'm happy that we're trying to give you ramen. And Bella's very happy she gets ramen right now. Why is I wish phone I so fuzzy? Some... I don't know why your phone's so fuzzy. There. <laughs> we're glowing now. Oh, we're not glowing anymore. It's just normal. Anyways, I'm happy to be home. Because I love you. And I miss you. And guess what time is it, Cruz? Past eight. I know, but guess what time it is. Past your bedtime. So, I don't think I shared a before picture of our closet anytime recently, but you could not walk in it or 
you would risk breaking a limb. While I was gone away on the weekend, Gabe cleaned the closet. Well, I did my side because mine actually, I just needed to get rid of some shoes. <laughs> and um, all of my photo tubs that have all of my photos fell over because there were too many of them. But so now all done on that side. Gabe's side is done. I've just been going through like purses and stuff like that and trying to clean up that part of it. I just thought of the most genius parenting tip. Next time when your kids ask to do something, you just flat out say no. Even if you plan on doing it later in the week. So that when you do go later in the week and do that certain thing, they're super excited. Because normally I say, yeah, we'll do that this week. And then I hear every day for the rest of forever, are we going to go do that? Are we going to go do that? And every time I say, not today, I get the poutiest, saddest little faces. This way. You get one time of a disappointed face and then elation when you finally say, let's go. <laughs> That's painful. Yeah. <laughs> Sing it, Belle. quesadilla revolver at dinner time. We're real healthy like that, huh, Diego? It was fuzz in my water. I was just <laughs> <laughs>